How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them, not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me, took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Caden? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Caden. Yeah. Me too. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. 
You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... there must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this... ...we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. with the landing zone. That is enough. gonna tweak my options here. My sound options tend to be a little bit loud for doing LP. Turn the music down. Turn the sound effects down. Dialogue down a little bit. Don't know what that is. Anyway, I am Julian Greystoke, and I am here to entertain you, really. I'm gonna save right away. Um, yeah. It's a reaper. It's gonna fuck me in the face. I'm playing Commander Lorelai Shepard. She is my import all the way from Let's Mass Effect 1. You, I showed you my stats before this video started. I didn't want to start talking during the beginning. How do you stop something so powerful? You don't. I didn't want to start talking during like the beginning uh, segment because I would have been drowned out by jump. the sound it's effect. Than it looks. You take a running jump. Oh, you already did. Okay. Whew, that that's bad. All right. Um, on, a couple of things go. you should know about this. I am probably going to talk about all three games. And <laughs> Oculus. Ooh. And how they affect each other. Um, this probably won't be spoiler free. So if you're looking for something spoiler free, head Come on. elsewhere. We'll have to go this way. Mm -hmm. I'll cover in my Looks own clear. Let's time. go. Come on, let's keep moving. Major, you read me. 
I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with you. We're taking heavy fire. We're about five minutes out. Husks! Take him out! Now, see, see that kid run? Shoot him! This is one thing I am going to talk about, is, uh... I'm sure you any, of, if any of you guys you. have not been living under a rock. Um... Take him out! I have terrible aim. I should warn you that I'm bad at shooting games. Should have probably led with shoot that. Him. <laughs> you haven't forgotten how to shoot, have you? No, yes I have. I'm out of ammo! Come on, we gotta move! Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'll get better. I'll get back in my groove. Played in a little while. Um, but yeah. Have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. I don't know why they're doing this. Um, I'll be talking about this game specifically. <coughs> Especially like I'm gonna be a little bit harder on this game than I was on two because two is my favorite game Not just of the Mass Effect series, but my Don't favorite game you. ever Um, so I'll be a little bit more critical of this one probably talk about You saw that kid go in there, right? And then this building just blew up like a lot Okay, and I'll also talk about um, way out of here. the endings, what I like, what I don't like about this game. I'll be a bit more critical of it. I'll probably also talk a little bit about, you probably heard of the indoctrination theory. Now, with the new DLC ending, which you will be watching with this because I have it downloaded, it's pretty much just proven. There's a spoiler right there. But I still really like the idea, and I am still going to point out little inconsistencies that still that that initially made people think of the indoctrination theory because I think it is a really clever idea and even though Bioware said no it's not true uh, I still like it and I still like to point out weird things the first inconsistency that I actually noticed when I was first playing through this game is that kid I hate that kid he runs in here and then this building gets blown up and then we're coming up on another sequence here to show you it's not in there yet and jump scare yeah, you know, hit it. Hit was sick. Oh, I have to hold the. Oh, okay. Through this way. He's not gonna hold the door for me. He's just gonna. See, the kid's alive. Hey, in the vent. It's okay. Everyone's dying. <gasps> Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Now there are two reaper growls in that space of time, and the kid just appeared through the vent without making any noise. Which I actually noticed when ah, I played for the first a time. Damn mess. Cause that was creepy and weird. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. <sighs> You sure about that? No, but you're a council specter. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab the metal. Reload, let's keep moving. 
I also have a theory that Anderson is the father of my shepherd. They, they actually look a lot alike, and uh, Chakwas is her mom. And they just have no idea that, that Shepard is their child. I mean, it makes Stop. sense with her history. She's got no family. Major Lanko, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Oh, dear goodness. Major, Caden, damn it, they're in trouble. Going to reroute. Like Do you copy? No, this is going shit. Normandy, come in. Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Keep your head down. Reapers, um, repurpose. Different species. Uh, these are Batarians. These are repurposed Batarians. Sure. Don't wait for my shield to come back up. Like I told you, I'm, I'm not actually as bad at, at this game once I get back in my groove. I just have to get back in my groove. Haven't played in a little while. I don't usually play shooting games. Mass Effect is my exception because the story is just so amazing. If you're gonna play a game that's like outside of your normal type of game, make sure it's awesome. Shepard, over here. I also have been known to play like Borderlands and stuff like that, but um, I usually play on sort of a medium difficulty setting. I mean, it reminds me I should check my difficulty setting. And uh, just kind of enjoy it. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's going to be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get to that gunship. We're gonna save and end this video here. And we'll move on to the next video when we'll get you the chopper. I, I mean, gunship. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. <laughs>